most who are bumper harvest must intentionally plant the seed right on time, be willing to do the weeding, provide the crop with fertilizer, and in its season go to harvest before the rains come to spoil the crops that have dried. In the same way, the body given to us also has systems of operation. So understanding those systems is so key so that you get to know at what point do I need to seek for medical intervention? At what point do I need to go see a doctor? Why am I feeling pain? So the earlier you diagnose this, the better for you. For they say, as teaching time saves night, the earlier you diagnose the ailments, the little pains that at times we ignore, the headaches we ignore, and then you take an earlier step to go for treatment, the better, for it will protect you from using much more money later on. We all know cancer has stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. The, when you diagnose cancer at stage 1, the treatment becomes easier. But when you delay until it goes to stage 4, what happens? For those cases where we are not able to treat them locally here, we will be more than willing at any given moment to help you find a way to find hospitals out of the country. I want you to remember these details and fact that doctors will treat, but it is God who brings the healing. And that's why in the book of life it says, trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways, in all your health, he will make your path clean. We only live once. Take a good care of your life. They say that a sailor's freedom to the ocean or in the ocean depends on his knowledge of compass direction, the understanding of how the wave and the wave patterns, that will also rescue. A sailor who knows what direction, how to sail, will always rescue the crew. Your crew is your body. Knowledge is key to a good health. It is key for us to have a clear understanding on how our bodies behave. And that's why when you go to a doctor, the first thing a doctor will ask you, how are you feeling? What part of your body is aching? How long has this gone on? It is key to go for regular body checkups, for they will rescue you from using a lot of money at the end of it all when now you go down. God has given us life to live. Let's make every effort to live well. God created you and I to live a life that was free of all this. But we live in a fallen world that happened in the book of Genesis chapter 3. So the world is fallen. The molecular, the DNA structure of our bodies are completely compromised and changed. You understand? And so we've got to be comfortable with accepting the facts that we will once in a while be sick. And this world is not our home. So as we become sick and accept the situation condition, that alone will help you and I to quickly run for treatment. The other bit that we have to really accept that, you know, it is okay to take medication. Just like you wear shoes, you go to work, and you find a day when your shoes are torn, it spoils your emotions and attitude. What do you do? You replace the shoes. In the same way, medicine is just part of life. That if we take, they will help us. But taking in the right dose. That's why a cross-counter medication, normally not good. It's good to see a professional doctor who will prescribe a medication for you so you take the correct dose. If not overdose, you know, leads to death. Apart from that, you might be addicted to medications. All those, to be able to protect you from that, it's good to always seek for a doctor's or professional doctor's advice before you go there. But it is okay to take medication. We were all created in the image of the Creator, our Father God, and that image is perfect. But we're going to remember that that image was compromised the moment we fell from the Garden of Eden. We are no longer the same. And that means that you and I need to accept the fact that we will become sick. And it's okay to become sick. That just simply means you're a human being that is so naive to become sick. Refuse to accept that you're sick. Always important. Before you make any major decision in your health, it's always important to seek for a second opinion. Especially issues to do with surgery. Before you do any surgery, seek for a second opinion and you have all these doctors at your disposal 
maybe we think what about money how much will i use how will i manage money has and will never be an issue it's just organization and so the organization part of it things like fundraising and where to do get all that please feel free to contact us we can help you at new life health opinion we have professional help and we will help you to get the best medication the best treatment so far the best to our ability because remember doctor's treat but god heals and that's why we want to entrust you as we entrust ourselves in the hand of god with all our hearts so that you can lean not we can lean not on our own understanding he will make it clear thank you so much